so we could get going. But you don't remember where it was in Oregon? Uh, oh, it'll come to me. What year was that? Forty-six. And why were you up there in in Oregon? Is I was. Get, I was at March Air Force Base, right. just getting the process out of the service, and they need to. Uh, this crew was going to Seattle, and they needed a flight engineer, and we were all at uh, all those flight engineers were still at March Air Force Base, so so they said we need a flight engineer, so they got me, so I I was at that, so we took off from March Air Force Base and headed towards. Seattle, when we hit that snowstorm in Oregon. So you were, were you up in the air when you hit the snowstorm? Oh yeah. What does it feel like? We were flying around and couldn't. You just can't to see. Trying to find a hole in the clouds where we could go down. So it's you, it was not instrument landing. It's you, you, it's no. all visual. Yeah, yeah, it was mostly visual. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty scary. So so we were. So you just ended up landing somewhere, anywhere? You don't even remember? No, it's just, there was a, a field there. We finally found a that military field. or a civilian? Yeah. Military or civilian? Uh, Airfield. I think it was civilian. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. Yeah, and uh, I remember 1946, and I used to go across this. Uh, the McQuaises lived across the street. They'd always have me over for. Whenever they had artichokes for for dinner, they'd have me over because I liked artichokes. Even when you're a little tiny kid, you liked yeah. artichokes. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little kid. Mm-hmm. And he was a conductor on the for the, uh, the trolley, the tram. Uh, no, the East Coast, uh, big the trains. Oh, the like the Union Pacific yeah, was, or the or the. Was, he was a conductor. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he. Come home or be home for three or four days before he went out again. And they'd always, they didn't have any kids or anything, so they'd always have me over for some kind of dinner. You know? Just you or other other people in your family? Uh, just me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, because my mother's right across the street. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she liked to see, she, she liked them, and so she let me go over there. Mm hmm, mm hmm. He probably told you all about the trains. You oh, probably yeah. you probably liked all that. Yeah. Hearing all that. Yeah. McLeish's, yeah. McLeish, huh? Nice. What was his first name? Uh, McLeish. Uh, uh, okay. I think of it. What was your were your first day of school? Was that there at that house in L.A. or did, was it already Long Beach? When did you first go to school? Uh, yeah, I went up to uh, on Normandy and uh, Vermont. Was called the Norman Normandy Grade School. Normandy Grade School, huh? Uh -huh. I wonder if that's still there. Uh, I think it is. Huh? You you remember anything about your first day of school? Yeah, no. You remember your teacher's name, your no, classmates. No. Did you go to kindergarten too? Did you go no. to kindergarten there? Yeah. Were, did you were you the type who cried for your mom, or were you happy to be with all the other kids? No, I don't. I don't recall being. I just went went along with a crowd. I don't remember. I don't think I don't. Did I cry very much? I don't think I cried because I remember. No. Yeah, you know, Mark and Jim already went to school, so I. Yeah. That was just you know what your older brother and sister, what your older brothers did. That's what you do. So I don't remember crying, going to no. kindergarten at all. No. I I was ready. I think. Yeah, you kids are pretty strong. Well. Yeah. But you, you see. Did you go to Palmdale first? Uh, no, down? no, no. Oh, great I came down here when I was four, and right away after we moved, we must have moved in the summer, I suppose. Right away, I went to first to kindergarten. Yeah. So I was four, and I went to kindergarten when I was four. So it was almost right away. 
Grandma wanted to move up to North Claremont because we were so far away from the school. What? Real? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you never moved. Oh my gosh! When I you go, yeah. I, I remember looking at a house once in the in the Mount Streets up there, Mount Alifan area. Mm -hmm. I remember you guys wanted to, thinking about moving over there. Yeah. But thank goodness you found this place. She could get along with, with a three bedroom house, or she she, she wanted could, a four bedroom house. She huh? wanted four bedrooms, and it was too far away from the school. Jeez, that was <laughs> nothing. It's yeah. That's funny. So I finally talked to her, I would think, God, this place got along. I can't believe, I wonder why the, the, what were the, their names here that lived there? The Smiths? Or, no, who who had this house? Patty Miller or Smith? Who, who owned this house? The Smiths, right? No. Smiths lived next door to her son. Patty, what was their last name? The ones you bought the house from? Uh... I thought it was Patty Smith. There, no. were couple, there were a couple different Smith families. Patty. Smith, it wasn't Smith. It was uh, New. Please turn the end. I can't remember anymore. I just wonder why they wanted to move out of here and go to out back e to the east. Like I think they wanted to, the kids would end up going to Patrick Henry School or something. Uh, they want a, a, bigger, a, bi a house. bigger place than this. They want a bigger house, I think. Because they had a lot of kids. They did. I think they had four, at least four or five kids. Yeah. But we had four kids. Yeah, but they didn't. Have, they didn't have too many kids. Was it Miller? Patty Miller? No. Uh, it's. I'm. I'm drawing a blank on what their name is. But the. Uh, They wanted a bigger home. Mm -hmm. You never, you didn't keep in contact with them after they moved, did you? Well, a little bit. They'd come up by the neighborhood here and, and look at this place and see what they <laughs> missed and left. I wonder if they were happy. I wonder if, if they were, if they ever regretted that move. Well, they were happy at first, but then I think after a while they realized that what a nice place this was. Yeah. Because nobody cared about views or anything like that. No, people so. didn't think so much about it. But I, at the tennis today, I was describing your view to somebody, and they said, oh, my gosh, you know, you can see USD and Point Loma and Sea World. They said, man, that must be beautiful. All those people I was talking to up in Scripps Ranch. Uh-huh. And they said, wow, what a nice view that is. Well, nobody can go behind us this minute. Yep. Good dog. Good dog, Rocky. Yes, you good boy. Yes, Rocky, good boy. Did they leave or go back?